In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the new Splash Zone cards in NBA 2K23, my team, including three new Invincible cards, Elmelo Ball, Shaq, and Scottie Pippen, and going over all of the new Dark Matters, all the new Galaxy Opals, and who I think are going to be really elite in game. But let me know in the comment section down below, out of all these cards you guys can see on the graphic, which ones are you guys most looking forward to using? And first off, I do want to talk about the three Invincible cards. So I got every single player in this collection wrong like i did my pack predictions video i have n I, I i don't i don't think i've ever gotten a single player wrong like i have i didn't guess a single player in my pack predictions right i was not expecting lamello shack and pippin but the first invincible i want to talk about is the invincible lamello ball a card that's six foot uh, six foot seven at the point guard position six foot ten wingspan and i think the thing we'll see with lamello is probably a better size up i think he'll most likely get the steve francis size up the garland size up or the kyle lowry size up i think he'll get that upgraded over the over the lamello ball size up and then his jump shot will just go to very quick timing i think he'll be a good point guard will he be the best in the game i really don't think so just because of the way that he moves he really doesn't move that quick in the game so maybe a steve francis will really help him out but he could definitely use some more defensive hoff badges and some more stats all around but I think he'll be a top three to five point guard somewhere in that range and he could be top tier depending what they do with his like stats his badges and his animations the next invincible is Shaquille O'Neal and unfortunately I just don't see this card getting his jump shot updated he's just going to be this card but with a 99 or 98 three ball 97 three ball he's going to be the exact same version except he's going to have some hall of fame shooting badges I just don't know about this jump shot. It'll be a lot more greenable in game because he's going to have a way higher three ball and Hall of Fame shooting badges, but I don't know about Shaq. I mean, if they give him a new jump shot, he'll be one of the best power forwards in the game. If they don't update his jump shot and put it to like a new base and a new upper, I just don't see this card being like super elite. He'll still be a very fun card to use, you know, a very, very overpowered big man. I just don't know if he's going to fit in the meta, you know, not having his jump shot updated. It will be a lot more greenable in game. And then we do have Scottie Pippen, who I think underratedly might be the best card in this set, which I know does sound a little bit weird, but I think this, I think uh, Scottie Pippen has the chance to potentially be the best card in the splash zone set, mainly because of his jump shot. So if he has, if he has his release on very quick timing, I think it's going to be a knockdown jump shot. And then he just needs better dribble six. He needs a better size up, better escape, you know, could use him, could probably use a Dame behind the back, you know, maybe some better dunk packages, need these tendencies to all, to all be maxed out. And I think this car with 99 stats, you know, 55 hall of fame badges, I think he could potentially be the best card in this promo set because he can play shooting guard six foot eight, seven foot wingspan we know he's an elite level defender if he gets better dribble six and a quicker jump shot i could see him being on that like tim thomas vince carter steve smith type of level at the shooting guard position now to talk about the other dark matters in the set i did mention damian lillard in my pack predictions video i didn't go ahead and actually guess him but i did mention dame as potentially coming out i just don't think these dark matters are really anything too crazy like dame's gonna be a six foot two point guard yes he'll be fun to use in game if you do like dame cards but realistically how great of a dark matter is he gonna be we also got jalen brown now i think jalen brown could be decent as a dark matter will he be a top level shooting guard i just don't see it but i could see him being decent six foot six at the two six foot eleven wingspan we know he's gonna be a great defensive card it just comes down to his jump shot and what dribble six they decide to give him because if he gets a new jump shot I think he'll probably just keep his release on very quick timing, but if you were to get a new jump shot and way better dribble sigs, I could see him being a very solid shooting guard. I will say the card that I'm the most excited for is probably Pascal Siakam or maybe potentially Ray Allen. I'm a big Raptors fan, love Pascal, so I think he'll be a really fun card to use at small forward, six foot nine, seven foot three wingspan. He's got the player model, he's got the size to play the small forward position. I just really hope they change his jump shot to something overpowered like if he gets a really glitchy release and also gets some better dribble sigs i mean he could be up there with the ak-47s you know the brian scalabrini's the jonathan isaacs of the world and i think he could be really good for his price tag and then the last dark matter or actually sorry there's two more dark matters actually both from the same team sean kemp who can play small forward and then ray allen who can play shooting guard and point guard i really wish ray could play or sorry Ray can play shooting guard small forward. I really wish he could play the point guard spot because he's only six foot five with a six foot eight wingspan. So a little bit disappointing. He can only play shooting guard, but he's still going to have a solid release. He's already got really good dribble sigs. Just hope he gets like the tray escape or the curry escape. You know, could be a really nice card all around. Could be a really good offensive shooting guard. Maybe very similar to a Vince Carter. And then the final dark matter 
from this set is going to be Sean Kemp, who can play small forward, you know, six foot ten, seven foot one wingspan. He might actually be the best Dark Matter in this promo set, not including the Invincibles. Really depends what jump shot they give him, but... I think this release on very quick timing will actually be somewhat decent of a jump shot where I think he can get away with having this time out uh, with this type of a jump shot It's just gonna need way better dribble sigs but he's still gonna be amazing at going to the basket and does need way better stats for his defense and way better badges on Hall of Fame for his defense so I think Sean Kemp could potentially be the best dark matter between Sayakam, Jalen Brown, Dame and Ray Allen I think we got some hype dark matters in here I just don't know how how good they're really going to be in game. Uh, looking at the Galaxy Opals here quickly, a card I see that I'm very interested in is Trevor Ariza, who can play shooting guard because he's six foot eight with a seven foot two wingspan. I could see him being a Luol Dang type of shooting guard, a guy that's six foot eight, a Shane Battier, a really good defensive card who maybe who who might have a good jump shot, might get some way better dribble sigs, and we know he's going to be a great defender. So Trevor Ariza, you get you guys can probably look out to be maybe a really good you know budget two guard in the game. Uh, Morris Peer uh, Morris Peterson. I think is always pretty good offensively in the game. I know he had that diamond card earlier on in the year, but he's six foot seven at the two, seven foot wingspan. I mean, he could be a solid offensive shooting guard. I think with a lot of these Galaxy Opals, it just really depends what jump shots they give him. Like, like Rudy Gobert, right? Are they going to soup out a Rudy Gobert and give him a great release? Is he going to have a high enough three ball? Because if he does, he's seven foot one at the center spot, seven foot eight wingspan, and we know Rudy Gobert is such a good interior defender. So, so with Rudy. It basically just comes down to, are they going to give him a high three ball? Is he going to have a capable jump shot? And then what does his speed and acceleration look like? But I think the main thing for Rudy on his Galley Sopo card is, does he get a high enough three ball? Does he get like a 70, 75? And does he have a capable release? Looking at Tom Chambers can play the small forward at a uh, power forward and small forward position. How tall is Sean, uh, Tom Chambers in game? Uh, I don't think we even have a promo card except for the all time. Yeah, he got this Ruby Ruby one earlier on in the year. He's six foot ten at small forward, seven foot one wingspan. I mean, once again, just gonna need a whole new jump shot, whole new dribble sigs. But I mean, he's six foot ten at small forward, seven foot one wingspan. He could definitely be souped out. And then Larry Hughes is the last Galaxy Opal. I always like using Larry Hughes cards in my team. I think he had a really good. It might have been Dark Matter Galaxy Sopo last year. I think he was a free card. He was actually really good. Do we not have a Larry Hughes? We did get a Ruby one earlier on the year, but six foot five at point guard, six foot eight wingspan. Cause this one, yeah, this one can play point guard. So I don't know. For the Galaxy Sopos, I think like all of them. Every single Galaxy Opal here is going to need a new jump shot and way better dribble sigs. And that's kind of similar for every card in the set, besides like a Ray Allen. And maybe a dame because those cards already have the sigs and the jump shot I, I expect them to get but every other card in this set is going to really need a new jump shot Shaq could use a new jump shot lamello and pippen will keep their same release and be on very quick timing and i think that could be good so a hype drop i think there's some really hype names in these sets in this set i just don't know if any of these cards are really going to be that game changing and be on like a lot of people's lineups but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about all of these new splash zone cards and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.